Hey everybody, it's Alicia. Just wanted to give you a quick, my cards are moving because they're on an angle, a quick video just to say hello and to congratulate uh, K KG Divine Spa over in Halden for being the first of many stores to feature our cards. So these are the 72 names of God. So I wanted to come on here really quickly just to say hello. I'm going to tag Anita because she is the owner of well Karina Karina um, she is the owner of the store hopefully my cards aren't moving um, anymore they were moving a whole bunch so if you want to give me your birthday you can go ahead and do that I will go through the cards as we're sitting here waiting for more people to come up so these are the 72 names of God they are the guardian angels God loves you so much he made a guardian angel that's just like you. So these angels are specific. Most people who read them tell me how, hey, hello, William Duffy, how are you? So these are our angel cards. If you want to tell me your birthday, I can tell you what your guardian angel is and what your ruling day angel are. These are cards that I made myself. Um, they are, it took me about eight months to create them. They are derived from several different sources. There are 13 different, different aspects of each card so if you want me to read your your card i will go ahead and do that so this is wahewa is the first one wahewa that's how you say the name it's very important the pronunciation of the name of the cards are very important this is angel number two this is yeloya and this is the second name of god these angels come from exodus the the chapter Exodus which is I think the second chapter in the Torah and it's from the time when the angels the angel of God led the Israelites through the desert out of Egypt so it's their time of refuge their time of um, God's coming to save them so Sayote is number three angel number three seraphim so I took the time to create these beautiful angels because I wanted all this information in one spot so I went ahead and did that, and it has been, hey, Robert C. Stern, if you'd like me to read your guardian angel, you can tell me your birthday, and I will go ahead and do that. This is angel number four. These beautiful cards will be featured at KG Divine Spa in uh, Halton. They are the first of many stores to um, feature these cards. They are special cards, and there are none like them. Similar, but none exactly like them. So this is angel number five. See, the Hebrew pronunciation is on, the Hebrew is on the top and the pronunciation is there. Meheshi. You should get Raya here so she can, or Raina here, see if she can read the Hebrew. Can you read that, Raina? <laughs> is that right? I did have it checked. Um, I used to teach a girl from, a uh, family from Israel, English as a second language. And they would always tell me if my Hebrew was correct. So this is angel number six, the seraphim. And it's la lalaye, lalahe, lalahe. Lalahe is a seraphim. So if you want me to pull your, tell me which one your guardian angel is, tell me what your date is, your birthday is, and I will pull it for you. This is aha'a. Aha'a is angel number seven. And this is how you say aha'a. This is a beautiful card too. Each one was made individually according to its personality this is hey carol how are you these are my cards they're finally here how about that uh this is kahetha kahetha is the angel of 26 to the 30th of april so if you want to go ahead and give me your birthday i thanks for the heart i will tell you what your guardian angel is and then we have this beautiful i think this is hezoye yay hezoye <laughs> I'm learning how to say these beautiful angel cards. This is angel number nine, the cherubim, the angel of forgiveness and divine mercy. The ninth name of God, May 1st through 5th. And then it has ruling days. So this is, it's March 28th and July, January 10th. So if you know of anybody on those, March 6th. Hey, Karen, Karen, how are you? March 6th. So let's see if we're close to March 6th. Not there. Okay, so let's go back and see what we've got. Well, not there. It's your March 6 is all the way at the end, end, end. Let's see. Almost. And you're June 9th. I think I remember that. Okay. So March 6th. That is actually my son's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. You just had a birthday. 
Yours is angel number 70, the angel choir, the, arch the angel of alchemy and transformation, the guardian angel of those be between born between March 6th and 10th. And the way you say, this is Yoveme. So your confidence, I know there's a mistake and I did fix it. Your confidence is contagious. You have integrity and hide nothing. The truth is important to you. The light of God shines within you and you share it with others. You have the gift of intuition. The material world does not attract you. You heal people, animals, and plants. So this is the guardian angel of those, um, or actually the ruling day angel of, of those born between, well, March 12th, May 28th, August 8th, October 19th, and December 30th. Hey, Sarah, meditation on the name of God, Yoveme. When, meditate on the name of God, Yoveme, when you feel stuck and have negative memories or feelings. Yoveme is tasked by God to transform evil into good, bringing unconditional love into life. She promotes healing. Hey, Nancy. She promotes healing, difficult health problems, or incurable diseases. She renews, revitalizes, and reestablishes harmony and balance. She enlightens ideas. She helps souls cross over into the light. So you said March 6th. So March 6th, let's see if we could find your ruling day angel. And the, the cool thing about the ruling day angel is that the ruling day angel is even more, hey Nancy, is even more precise than the guardian angel. So you said March 6th. So let's see. Carol, I didn't forget you. I will get to you in a sec. So let's see if we can find your March 6th. Ah, look, I will open right up to it. Meheye. This is your ruling day angel, an archangel, the angel of inspiration. You are open minded, an open minded, compassionate person. You always look for the good in others. You help others with breakthroughs. You are wise, and others appreciate you. You are full of energy. Your family is important in your life. Your positive nature pulls you through adversity. Does that sound like you? I hope it let me know if it does. Okay, so Carol, let's see. Yours is June 9th. Hey, Sarah. All right, so let's see if we could find June 9th. If we're going to, let's see if we could pick June 20th. Let's see. Let's, go, let's do your ruling day angel first because I think we're closer to that. So June, well, hold on. Where'd you go? This one says, oh, that's New Laka. Laka is number 21. Is that supposed to be there? I don't think so. Yep, it's kind of stuck in here. All right, you need to come with me, Lister. You're out of order. All right, let's see. March, let's see. June 9th. June 9th, June 9th, June 9th. Let's see what we come across first. Now oh, we're going to be closer to June 9th. June 9th. Should be right here. Oh, nope. Okay. I think this is Hekome. Mm -hmm. Hekome, angel number 16, a cherubim, the angel of loyalty. Let's see if I can read. Oh, you're so welcome. Good. I'm glad that it's Karen, that it um, resonated. The angel of loyalty, the guardian angel of those born between June 5th and 9th. Your aura is full of peace. You're a loyal, noble, and brave. A promise is sacred to you. You keep your word. Your family means the world to you. You are a lovable friend with a great heart. Love and hope rule your life. It is important to you that your home and your appearance look good. You pay close attention to every detail. Is that true, Carol? Okay, Hakoma. Hakoma rules over the following days, January 17th, April 4th, June 15th, August 26th, and November 6th. Meditate on the name of God, Hakoma, to become a great leader and feel unconditional love. God tests Hakoma with, what just, oh yes, okay. God casts test Hakoma with liberating us from negative emotions. Call on the 16th name of God when you feel lonely and unloved. She inspires leadership and brings success to political as well as social organizations. Okay, so you are June 9th, is that correct? Let me say, I'll go back and look. Yes, June 9th. So now we're going to find your, that is your ruling, that's your, that's your guardian angel. So June 9th, so let's put these back. June 14th, June 13th, June 12th. Um, this is June 8th. Is this out of order? Oh, this one's wrong. This one's wrong. I remember I had to fix this one. 
my own angel. Wrong. 11th. <laughs> oh, one of my favorites, Alatha. Angel number 10, a cherubim, the angel of divine grace. You have a good heart. Living in integrity is key. You are devoted to your loved ones. You have a great imagination and the ability to know a good thing when you see it. You take that gift and maximize it to the potential. You are a hard worker and do whatever you can to change things for the better wherever you are. You understand nature and the cycle of life. Does that sound like you, Carol? Because this is your ruling day angel, and usually the ruling day angel is even more specific than the guardian angel. So, Alatha. Alatha rules over the following days. January 11th, that's my aunt's um, birthday. So this kind of, let's see. And this sounds very much like her. March 29th, June 9th, August 20th, and October 31st. Meditate on the name of God, Alatha, when encountering false spirituality or teachers. God test that was June 9th. Yes, June 9th. See? The ruling day of June 9th. Yep. Yep. God tests Alatha with divine grace that forgives all faults. She restores innocence to those who seek it. She answers prayers for the under underprivileged. Let's see. No, for those who seek. She has a prefer ah, healing power and health. She helps the underprivileged and gives another shot when you need a new beginning. Call on her to increase materially or spiritually. So this is Alatha. She's very beautiful. She's really pretty. Now we got to put this other one away because it got taken out of order. So let's see. We'll go through and see. And so who's next? Who would like me to do... Oh, there we go. 21, new Lacha. Get in there. Who else would like me to pull their card for them? <clears throat> so this beautiful deck will be available in Halden. Um, we are still we are we are saying that the price is going to be forty four because there's a lot of work. Hey, and credito, this is my beautiful angel deck that I created to show you how much God loves you. That God loves you so much that He made a guardian angel for you that is specifically tailored to you. So if you'll give me your birthday, I will show you what your guardian angel is and what your ruling day angel is. So I'm not going to stay on too much longer because I have to take, would you do my daughter? Of course, February 22nd, no problem, nobody else is asking, so hey, 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 February 22nd, let's see, February 3rd, February 13th, 28th. Uh, this one, Manoche, Manoche. Manoche is angel number 66, the guardian angel. Oh, no, maybe not. 66, 67. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. This is actually yesterday's angel. Mm hmm. Ayoa. Ayoa, sorry. Ayoa is angel number 67 from the angel choir, the angel of sublimation. You, are, you light up a room when you enter it. You love to explore spirituality. You know how to turn your dreams into reality. You are always happy and confident in everything you do. You know no limits. You can achieve anything. You have a deep respect for your body as you know that the body is the temple of your soul. Does that sound like your daughter? Now she is February 22nd. So we'll look up what her ruling day angel is. So this rolls over the following days, March 9th, which was yesterday, May 25th, August 5th, October 16th, and December 27th. Awesome. Meditate on the name of God, Ayoa, to protect you when you face negative change or manipulation in your life. God tasks Ayoa with inner and outer transformations. He helps you to comprehend history, including your own. Ayoa teaches us to attract and resonate with positive things in our lives. Ayoa gives you the ability to observe and realize the synchronicities that can happen in your life. So February 22nd, ruling day, would be... Hey, Lucia, we're going through our cards, and I can pull yours. If you want to give me your birthday. If you want to give me your birthday, then I will pull it. They came out really beautiful. So we're looking up Carol's daughter right now, and she's February 22nd, and her angel is Ameme. Ameme. She's the 22nd of, yes. Amemme uh, is uh, angel number 52, the principalities, the angel of atoned errors. The guardian angel of those born between December 5th and 9th. But this is Carol's daughter's ruling day angel. You are a compassionate person, gifted with grace. 
People are inspired by you and what you do in life. You give people hope. Wisdom is a gift you possess that helps others. Financial outlooks are always up for you. You give sage advice to others and they come to you in times of trouble. Hey, Vanessa! <clears throat> so, a MMA rules over the following days. February 22nd, May 10th, July 21st, October 1st, and December 12th. Oh, that's it. Yes, I'm telling you, these cards show you, Carol, how much God loves you, that he gave you an angel that is just for you, that is specifically designed for you. Meditating on the name of God, a meme, opens your prayer life and meditations to a more conscious space. Sure, I'll read yours, Vanessa. A meme is tasked by God to help us realize our wrongdoings and repair the damage done. She helps us carry out difficult tasks and make peace with our enemies. She helps to set us free from our inner evils. A meme helps us to console others. She inspires us to have a better strength of character. A meme means God hidden in the dark. And the reason why we have this beautiful little fish is because this is for Jesus because he has dominion over the angels. His name is in Hebrew, Yeshua, and he's my best friend. So we have him in there. Okay, so July 8th. Let's look through for July 8th. Ah, I'm one almost. Okay, this is, yeah, 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 Vanessa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angel 22, the angel of fame and renown. You know the importance of change in life. You know nothing is permanent in life. You attract people. Your heart aches when you see suffering or see others suffer. You have great desire to travel. You love to visit new places and learn about new cultures. You have great psychic abilities. People love to be around you and your amazing personality. You love to spread joy and goodness. And on the other side, it says, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you say his name. The ruling day, Angel. Aw, I'm so glad, Carol. That's awesome. Will you make sure you sh share this video with her so she can see what her, what, her how much God loves her and who her guardian angel is and her ruling day angel. Yeah, yeah, your rules over the following days. Jul January 23rd, April 10th, June 21st, September 1st, and November 12th. Meditation on the name of God. Yeah, 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 gives you access to your soul's divine energy. So you got to meditate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Vanessa? Yeah, yeah, yeah is the angel of fame and celebrity. God grants him the ability to create abundance, generosity, renown, and success in your life. He protects the souls of the generous and altruistic. He guides success and travel, especially on the sea. He helps scientists with new discoveries and inventions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Encourage generosity. So if you're ready to go on a cruise... You can pray or meditate to God, calling his name, his 22nd name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nothing bad. You're calling him upon his name. It's a beautiful way to uplift your time. So you have um, July 8th, right? So let's work backwards and see how we can make this work for us. July 4, July 5, 6, 7, July 8th. Uh, yeah, I think that card is you, especially the psychic part. Um, angel number 39, I think it's Reha, 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 is the angel of submission. You know that your spirituality is like a muscle that needs to be flexed and strengthened. Due to your strong spiritual life, you love universally. You can heal others. You know that miracles exist everywhere. You carry this knowledge with you as a weapon against evil. Being submissive to just authority is simple for you. You have an understanding of life that most do not carry. Do you think this sounds like you? This is your ruling day, angel. Because he rules July 8th. Also rules February 9th, April 27th, September 18th, and November 29th. Meditate on the name of God, Rehea, to turn any negative circumstance into the positive one. Rehea is tasked by God to give us deeper sensitivity and awareness. Okay, sweetheart, talk to you later, honey. Rehea is tasked by God to give us a deeper sensitivity and awareness. Rehea opens our consciousness. He gives a new appreciation for superiors and teaches us respect. Awesome. Rehea helps, uh, helps to heal depression, anxiety, and other mental illnesses. Rehea teaches us to respect and love our parents. He gives us the capacity to listen well. Rehea means the God who quickly forgives. So these are our beautiful angels. So if anyone else would like to come on and ask me what their guardian and ruling day angels are, they would we'd be more than happy to do that for you guys. But in the meanwhile, we'll kind of go where we left off. I think we were kind of in this area. 
This is actually my angel. And this, and you can tell me if this sounds like me. You have a strong personality. You are smart and spiritual. You are sensitive and love to balance your life. You have inner happiness. You love learning and teaching. Your purpose is to pass knowledge to others. You care for others. You give great advice. And you have a calming spirit. Sounds pretty like me. So that's my one angel. And the other one is... I need one of those desks. Oh, this is just fabric. <laughs> it's just gold fabric that I threw on my desk. <laughs> um, so it's really not a desk. So my, um, my, yeah, it's really exactly it is me. It is very much me. My, why am I not remembering my ruling day angel? That's awful. Hey, Deborah Sanders Steele, would you like me to pull your card? These are my beautiful angel cards that I made myself. It took me eight months to create these. These came from a lot of thought, a lot of prayer, um, and a lot of encouragement from God, because this was not easy. Not easy. Let's see. January, where are you? I think, I think mine is at the end of the deck, because I'm not seeing over here. I think it's all the way in the end. So let's go to the end. May 30th, May 20th, why am I not coming? I'm going to be like, oh yeah, <laughs> silly mommy. There it is, Wamave, duh. Okay, angel number 61, Wamave. This even sounds more like me, Vanessa, just you wait. You love discovery of new places. Loving and sensitive, you love your parents and are loyal to their values. You are a friendly introvert. You speak, seek spiritual faith. You are not fond of tentative or confrontational people. You isolate yourself when you don't receive affection. The role of a parent is your purpose in life. You can be a perfect parent. This is the angel of friendship, and I've always loved my friends. Oh my goodness, always very close to my friends. Even to the chagrin of my mom, she hated that I was close to my friends. Uh, well, Mava rules over the following day, March 3rd, May 19th, July 30th, October 10th, and December 21st. Meditate on the name of God. We do. We have very similar. Meditate on the name of God, Wamave, to heal the fear of being alone or those who need to be recognized at any cost. God tasks Wamave to combat loneliness and friendship issues. He helps to find friends and soothes the lonely heart. Pray for his guidance when you're vexed by the past. Wamave helps troubled teachers. He helps with narcissism and drug problems. Wamave means, hey, Franco. God above all names elevated. These are my beautiful angel cards that I made, Franco. And I am reading people their guardian angels. So if you want to see who your guardian angel is, I can pull it from you. And I love to say that this is the way that God shows you that he loves you so much that he made an angel just for you. And you can see that by when I read your angel how much the angel is just like you. How similar, the similar traits that you have. These angels never disappoint. Never, ever. And I love, I love the gold ones. So pretty. They're absolutely, I love the purple. Purple is one of my favorites. I like the green. I like, there's another purple one. And the red ones, the brown ones are exceptionally pretty. And my favorite one, one of my favorite ones is this one. Look how pretty, gold, it's gorgeous. And then number 14, this one, Alatha. No, number 10, Alatha is one of my favorites. This one, this one, this one. Ah, 14, isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I, that one, that one's so pretty. Definitely one of my faves. Who else is one of my faves? This, I like the white ones a whole heck of a lot. Did you get errors? Yes, I got my errors all fixed. This is my first deck, my my conceptual deck, my first one. I got all of them fixed. Yes, I did. This is pretty too. And the red ones are exceptionally nice. I think I got them. I went through every single one. It took a long time. But these are all the angel angel wings, aren't they beautiful? And each one represents a different form of God. Hey Salvatore, how are you, Sal? These are my beautiful cards that I created. They are the 72 names of God. God loves you so much. He made two angels, a ruling day angel and a guardian angel. So if you give me your birthday, I will tell you which one is yours. And they are very similar to who you are and what you love and how you 
are in your life. It's pretty amazing, actually. So these cards will be featured in KG Divine Spa in, in uh, Halden. Um, they are selling for $44. You can also buy them through me for $44. You can pay me through PayPal or Venmo, and I will send you the cards. All right, guys, I am about finished for the day. I hope you enjoyed our beautiful angel card reading. You can message me if you'd like in private if you didn't want to have your card read in public. That works, too. All right, guys, have an awesome night. I'll talk to you later. Bye.